Have you ever seen a tractor with a big box in the front and wondered why it's driving around with it? Well, that's exactly what we're going to look into today. To answer the question, why do tractors have weights on the front? So let's get started. Well, the big box in front of the tractor is likely a ballast box. This box is used to add weight to the front of the tractor, and it serves several crucial purposes, which we're diving into now. What is ballast? Ballast, in the context of tractor tires, refers to the additional weight added to the tractor to optimize its performance. This weight can be strategically placed on the tractor to enhance stability, traction, and overall efficiency. But why is ballast important? The primary reason of adding ballast to tractor tires is to ensure that all four wheels of the tractor stay firmly on the ground during various tasks. When using heavy implements or working on uneven terrain, there's a risk that the rear wheels, which are the powerhouse of the tractor, may lose contact with the ground. Ballast helps prevent this by providing extra weight, keeping the tractor grounded and stable. Ballast improves traction, which is crucial for the tractor to grip the ground effectively. This is especially important when working in challenging conditions like muddy fields or steep slopes. By strategically distributing weight, ballast enhances the tractor's stability. This is vital for preventing accidents and ensuring safe operation, particularly when navigating uneven surfaces. Adding weight lowers the tractor's center of gravity. This is beneficial when working on slopes, as it reduces the risk of the tractor tipping over. Proper ballasting can contribute to the longevity of the tractor's drivetrain components. It minimizes wear and tear on these parts, reducing the frequency of replacements. But how much weight should you add? Knowing how much weight to add in the ballast depends on factors like checking your tractor's manual, considering the type of job you're doing, soft or hard ground, pulling heavy things, or just driving, fast or slow, and understanding if you need more weight in the front or back. Here, the size of your tires also matters. If you're still unsure, every tractor model and attachment has its own weight requirements. Consult your tractor's manual to determine the appropriate ballast. Factors such as soil surface, implement type, travel speed, and tire size must be considered. One size does not fit all. But what type of ballast are there? There are different types of ballasts for tractor tires, each with its own characteristics. Water is cheap but lacks freeze protection and is suitable for warm climates. Calcium chloride provides excellent freeze protection but is highly corrosive and needs tubes for rim protection. Ethylene glycol offers freeze protection and is easily available but is toxic. Propylene glycol is a non-toxic alternative but more expensive. Windshield washer fluid is widely available and affordable but has limited freeze protection. Polyurethane foam is costly, freeze-proof, and makes tires flat-proof, but it's only available through dealer networks. The most common type might vary based on factors like availability, cost, and regional preferences. Water, calcium chloride, and windshield washer fluid are commonly used due to their availability and affordability. But do all tractors need ballast weights? The need for ballast weights in tractors varies based on multiple factors. Tractors engaged in lighter tasks or operating on flat surfaces may not require additional ballast weights. However, for tractors involved in heavy-duty tasks, pulling large implements, or navigating uneven terrain, the addition of weight becomes crucial for stability. Terrain characteristics play a significant role. Tractors operating on slopes or challenging landscapes may benefit from ballast to prevent tipping and enhance overall stability. The size and weight of implements attached to the tractor also influence the need for ballast. Heavy rear implements or loads have the potential to lift the front of the tractor, affecting stability, and ballast helps counterbalance this effect. Tasks that demand high traction, such as plowing or working in muddy fields, may necessitate the use of ballast to improve grip and prevent slippage. The manufacturer's recommendations outlined in the tractor's manual provide essential guidelines based on the tractor's design, intended use, and safety considerations. Following these recommendations ensures optimal performance and safety. 
Additionally, the distinction between two-wheel drive and four-wheel drive tractors is crucial. Two-wheel drive tractors may require different ballasting strategies compared to their four-wheel drive counterparts, with attention to the distribution of weight between the front and rear axles. And there you have it, the ins and outs of why tractors have weights on the front. So, the next time you spot a tractor with that big box in the front, you'll know it's not just for show. It's a strategic addition to ensure stability, traction, and overall efficiency. Thanks for watching, and remember to subscribe for much more tractor content.